The situation for young people in Europe is grave. Since 2008, the total number of young unemployed in the EU has increased by 1 million. Now more than 5 million young people in the EU under 25 do not have a job. The situation calls for action and action now. In April this year, the Commission adopted the employment package towards job-rich recovery. The aim is to complement the employment priorities of the annual growth survey with medium-term policy guidance in order to reach the targets set out in the EU 2020 strategy. I welcome this approach. I have been among the harshest critics of the current economic policy focusing solely on austerity measures. And I have for a long time requested a change of policy towards job creation. Austerity alone will not do the trick. We need to address the job and growth potentials in the green economy, in the health and social services sector and in the ICT sector, including investments in skills, training and higher wages. New jobs in Europe will mean new jobs for young people. So if we want young people to get a job, we need to create jobs. Secondly, we need to help young people in going from education to work. In this, high quality internships and traineeships play an important role in preparing young people for the labor market and increasing their chances of finding a job. Internships and traineeships are an excellent way of learning how to use the theoretical knowledge gained in education in a workplace. You get to learn how real life works and it's done in an environment where you're supervised and mentored. Or at least that's the way it should be. Way too often we see that this is not the case. Too often interns and trainees are a source of cheap or free labor and they are substituting regular employees. No contracts, little or no pay and lack of social protection is unfortunately not unusual. And the economic crisis has not made the future look any brighter for young people. In order to tackle this problem, we need a quality charter on internships and apprenticeships. The European Parliament called upon the Commission to propose such a quality charter back in 2010. And I'm pleased to see that the Commission, when presenting the employment package earlier this year, released a working document on this issue and committed itself to present a quality framework for traineeships in 2012 which will lead to a council recommendation to be adopted before the end of 2012. Thirdly, we need a legally enforceable European Youth Guarantee. We know from studies and from past experiences that long-term unemployment has huge economic and social effects on the individual as well as for society. And we need to ensure that every young EU citizen is offered work, education or training after a maximum period of four months of unemployment. Again, I'm pleased that the Commission in the employment package committed themselves to present by the end of this year a proposal for a Council recommendation on a European Youth Guarantee. Allow me to compliment the Commission for their work on the employment package and especially on the two initiatives I have for young people that I've mentioned here. Now, what we need to see is member states to deliver. It's now in the hands of ministers and the governments in each member state to show responsibility, to commit, to act, so that young people will not be let down, will not become a lost generation, and so that young people will have a future of social inclusion, of decent work and of prosperity. Thank you.